Hello, friends at the Council of Extended Intelligence. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. I'm really happy to be here virtually to talk about how some of those extended intelligence ideas have been playing out in Taiwan's political field. I would like to also quote Dr. Tsai Ing-wen first. She's our president. She said, when we think of democracy, before we think of an opposition between two values, just like artificial intelligence and social justice, economic development and environmental sustainability. But she said, now we have to think of democracy as a conversation between a plurality of values. And this is, by the way, my office, the Social Innovation Lab in Taipei. This is co-created by hundreds of social innovators. The soccer fields are designed by people with Down syndrome, with trisomy differences. They see the world through a geometric lens, and everybody brings their unique contribution to this co-created space. And here, we make a lot of effective partnerships that make sure that people understand AI in a way that responds to the societal needs, not what the AI demands of the society. I would like to thank the MIT Media Lab for deploying the PEV, this self-driving tricycles here, and we co-create basically how people's norm interacting with this slow self-driving tricycles are before we release them to the wild. And so we established first the social norms and expectations in a participatory way, and then we turn them into regulations or sandboxes. And after that, we set the parameters instead of the other way around. And we think this kind of co-creation is really the only way to integrate emerging technologies into the society. As another example, we have an annual activity called the Presidential Hackathon. Basically, everybody spends three months co-creating solutions that they think they can improve on the president's agenda. For example, last year, we have a team of Taiwan Water Corporation. They maintain one of the longest pipelines in the world of water supply. But they work with machine learning experts, they work with domain experts to develop machine learning resources to develop a chatbot so that people who uh, listen to those water pipe leakage can very quickly narrow down the kind of uh, water leakage and fix them in real time. And they'll actually move to Wellington because we use the sustainable development goals as a way to index our common endeavors. And so this kind of domain expert data expert and regulatory expert, those trilingual teams, form what we call a data collaborative. And only in this way does the data agency, the data ownership, all the different agencies contributing data can declare it in a way that is fully machine readable and machine understandable and negotiate a data relationship, um, relationship such as open algorithm and so on, to make sure that people can make the most out of the data without compromising safety and privacy and security. And every year, those 20 teams are picked out of hundreds of teams through participatory voting. Um, this year, we use quadratic voting, a newly invented voting methodology that asks all the citizens to vote for 99 points. They can vote for any item. One vote is one point, but two votes is four points, three votes, nine points, four votes, 16 points. And so this lets them uh, express their true preferences in a way that is most synergistic to those teams that uh, can deliver the sustainable goals together. And so after each competition, after each round uh, tour and things like that, we ask each county and city to declare the focus of the sustainable goals that they're focusing on. So it's not just GDP anymore, it's not just economic growth, but actually which of the 17 goals are they focusing on for this month or for this year? And this makes a much better focus of knowledge sharing and collaboration and access to science and technology. And so while we're talking with those counties, those cities, we're not just talking to mayors and councillors. We're actually talking to people on the ground. And when we do that, because Taiwan has broadband as human right, so anywhere I go, I'm guaranteed to have 10 megabits per second. Otherwise, it's my fault, you see? And so when we do this, the 12 ministries in the Taipei Social Innovation Lab, they're actually there also through telepresence, and they see them eye to eye in a high resolution way to co-develop the regional revitalization plan together. And this is how we open the agenda setting power to the general population. It's not just representatives, it's a representation of their wills and their coherent blended volition so that we can deliver the triple bottom lines together through a shared reliable data, for example, through distributed ledgers to encourage effective partnerships such as the data collaboratives and finally ensure that we donate all these um, new inventions and innovations in a way that is truly co-creative. Finally, I'd like to read you my job description. It goes like this. When we see the Internet of Things, let's make it an Internet of Beings. When we see virtual reality, let's make it a shared reality. 
when we see machine learning, let's make it collaborative learning. When we see user experience, let's make it about human experience. Whenever we hear that the singularity is near, let us always remember the plurality is here.